right, we are back, and uh, it is a really, really, really cool thing right now to have. Well, we got a couple things going on, actually. We've got uh, Damage Plan in the studio, and for those of you guys that don't know who Damage Plan is, you will soon enough, because Damage Plan features a couple of people that uh, everybody in this show knows and loves very, very much. Dime and Vinny from Pantera. Welcome, guys. Eddie, thank you for having us on the show. Yeah. And another guy who's the singer in the band that people will know from uh, one of his earlier gigs in Halford, because we got a lot of Halford fans, Pat Lackman, yeah. who is now the singer in Damage Play. That word. <laughs> we're right off, out of the shoot, man. We're, I, we're <laughs> off to a bad start. It up. We're off to a bad start already. Sorry. And get Won't your bass, again. Get your bass player in here and uh, let everybody know who's playing bass in Damage Plan. Bob Just, Zilla. We needed a monster. We had to get one. His name is Bob Zilla. Say what's Zilla. up, Bob. Say hi, Bob. Hello, New York. And these guys have already gotten into the Kuya, which is our sponsor, Kuya Fusion Rum. Do you Kuya? And uh, how's it tasting and smelling? Hang on one second. Um, <laughs> should I put this up to my throat? Let's do you. I'm a oh, Scott Vodka drinker. Get, that's get dangerous right there. Uh, 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 now, yeah. now, if all this wasn't enough, <laughs> if all this wasn't enough, we now welcome in on the phone line, Sebastian Bach. What's up, yeah, guys? what are you doing? What's up, Bass? Dime bag. <laughs> what are you doing, my brother? Hey, Goody, dime bag. What are you guys doing? Bring them back alive, baby. Come on. <laughs> Man, it's rough audio here, dude, for me and the cellular technology. But, uh. Where, Baz, where are you, man? I just got off stage with Twisted Sister. No way. Yeah. About 3,000 people in New Hampshire, and I just, uh,. I uh, did the song Carrot Loose with Twisted Sister in full makeup and full costumes and boots. And it was like unbelievable. Boy, and I, I just, that. I'm in the tour bus right now. And that's where I am. That it's, is awesome, dude. It's because you're an ass and mouth. That's right. <laughs> Hear no evil, no, you see no evil. You know, it's all good. Yeah, now I can hear you. Play no evil, now I'm free. <laughs> you got a bird in hell, baby. <laughs> uh, we hung with D down in January down at the grand opening of the Hard Rock Vault, and he was like, Always cooler than and cooler. He just seems oh, like he's yeah. cooler as the years go by. D was on, D was in here last week. D was on my show last week. We had a great yeah. time. He's always a lot of fun to hang with. You know what song? You know what song was so funny was Destroyer. Oh my Destroyer. God. You know what? I don't have to play any records. Sebastian will just sing my whole playlist. <laughs> not it. Bass, Bass, you're not getting paid for that, dude. That's right. I need some greenbacks, brother. So, so listen, what's going you, before we get to these guys, uh, you know, they're in the studio. I know you're on the phone, but you got a new band. Tell, tell everybody, give everybody the quick update on this in the Sebastian Bach world. Well, I, I got a new band and the bass player is Cheese. You know, you know, Cheese, right, Don Bag? Right on. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's, a, he's a from Memphis, Tennessee. And, uh, and then I got Adam Albright from the band Skin Lab. And he, he also has a band called Dope Sick. And um, he plays these, like, really weird uh, baritone guitars. They're so low and killer. They're just, like, he's, he's, a, he's a great guitar player. And then I got uh, Bam Bam on the drums. I, I thought, like, I thought, you know, finding a drummer was easy, but, you know, you can't, there's only, like, a couple drummers in the world, you know what I'm saying? Baz, Baz, you've been jamming with him since Madam Max. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a red-headed stepchild play drums for you, baby. Come on. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. And there's only one Vinny Paul. But I love Bam Bam, and Bam Bam hits some things Bam hard. I love Bam him. Bam Bam throws down, man. <laughs> right on, dude. So, Baz, what's this band called now? It's called Bach Tight 5, right? That's right, dude. And you and either recording we're, we're, it? We're playing uh, tomorrow night at Mulcahy's on Long Island. And then uh, we're playing uh, Sunday night with Twisted Sister in... Uh, Hartford, Connecticut, Webster Hall, and then we play Monday night with Twisted Sister and Alice Cooper at the Beacon Theater in New York City, and it's sold out. 
Oh, yeah. Hey, Baz, I hate, to, I hate to inform you, but we're still going to be here Monday night. Oh. Yeah. We're looking for something to do, so if you can squeeze damage plan on the guest list, we're coming Come on back. stage. Come on stage. I'd love to see Alice and, you know, our friend D. Let's get it out there. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's killer. Well, come on. Come on down to the show. It'll be awesome. And Pat, Pat Rockman, you're, you're singing for the band, right? You, you played in Alfred's band, right? That is for sure. Well, what, do you sing kind of like Alfred? No, no. not really. Not no. at all. Not even close. No one, <laughs> no one can sing like that, dude. Just like no one can sing like you. But uh, I'm, oh, doing thanks, some, I'm doing some pretty sick stuff. And, uh, you know, we can yeah, go, we, we, we go back a little ways. I enjoy doing the... Uh, Forever Wild show with you back when? Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Now, but, Baz, uh, I, I just read you can have a DVD out with some of that stuff on there, right? Yeah, with Ted Nugent and, um, you know, like bailing hay and shooting animals and stuff like that. And uh, it, that'll be coming out um, in the first of uh, January. But you know what? Dimebag, I, I asked you years ago, if, remember, when, remember when we were on tour together and I was sick and the doctor came and put a... Uh, like a step you want that video footage of when that doctor showed no. you? Oh, oh, dude, no more cursing, I'm sorry, please. Man. Please, no more cursing. <laughs> and you don't want to lose his gig. So, exactly. So that's what you... Dude, that footage... You know how much footage I got to go through to try to... <laughs> Wait, something like that? Dime, in clean terms, what happened? Uh, but Dr. Buzz, if anybody knows who Dr. He's Buzz from is, Denver, Colorado, yeah. is the Buzz doctor himself, and he takes care of all the rockers. And, uh, man, Bass wasn't feeling so great. And he's like, man, Doc, something's going down. I, I want you to look at my pipes and make sure they're all there. And uh, he, he put, like, almost like those things that you put on chicks' uh, uh, lips, low lips, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And uh, he opened them up, man, and uh, had, had a good look at them. I got to see Baz's pipes, and I uh, threw a camera yeah. almost, almost through, like, down on his neck, and I got some like close up footage of his one, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, I got that footage somewhere, and Baz has been asking me for years, and I would never ever hold out on a brother like Baz, but you got to understand, I got years and years of that stuff, and it's like, which tape is it on? Do you really want me to go home and like rewind time to find time? I, I, I think it's probably on the tape when Baz is going, Look at this. I got gonorrhea, dude. Check this out. <laughs> That, that's, uh, that's I forgot. I forgot, that, I forgot that Skid Row and Pantera played together. You guys right. toured together. Yeah, and that was year together. Was that was early on. Yeah. yeah but then Pantera brought me on tour in my soul in my solo band for like two weeks in '98 uh, with the Wingman and some one footage. I was the wrong. Wingman, the Indian. Who was the yeah. other guy? <laughs> There's one more guy, the Indian. Oh, and uh, Bam Bam is a drunk monkey. The guy from Ace Freely's band. What was his name? Richie Scarlet. 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 Mr. Scarlet. Scarlet. That's Paul right. Stanley Part Two was out there with him. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen. Now, one, one footage I would like, not to get, you know, bummed out or anything, but uh, your buddy Dave from Drowning Pool did the ultimate... Sebastian Brock impersonation many times for me, and I know you have that on video time back. You remember we played some dump down in Dallas or something, and you came on stage with Dave, and, and you got all that on film? I'd love uh, a copy of that. Bass, there's, I'm going to make some time. All this stuff's going to come. Yeah. Uh, I definitely got Dave Stage doing Sebastian. There's nobody could blow that cat away. You know, hey, man, I want to let y'all know, man, uh, after a year since that, Dave passed away, man. I went down and I got a big portrait of Dave on my left. Uh, left wow. leg and uh, he's looking good right now. Y'all want to check it out in the studio? Yeah, actually, absolutely. Bring Let's throw a little load to Dave, man. Oh, oh, very cool. Dave Williams, Johnny Pool. Hey. Very cool. We love Dave, man. Right on, Dave. That's some serious ink right there, man. That's great stuff. Big, big Sebastian Skid Row fan and uh, yeah. everything that you've ever done. So, anyway, back to uh, kicking ass. Hey, Baz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so these guys, uh, I, we got we to gotta let you go because we're going to get on to with these guys. But I want to get you got you in here to hang out. It's been a little while, you know? Right on, dude. And I just want to plug tomorrow night, Long Island, Mulcahy's 
Sunday night Webster Hall, Monday night Beacon Theater. That's it. Goodbye. Thank we'll you. Be, hey, we'll be at the Beacon Monday night. <laughs> and, yeah. and, we'll and your TV show. Hey, wait, you know. we can't let them go without reminding everybody that Baz is on the Gilmore Girls or something like that, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. He, he's on all the girls. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> John Bon Jovi. Maria <laughs> just has to chill. <laughs> Hey, I'll hang on the line. I'll give you my cell phone, uh, uh, Vinny. I'll give it to you. I'll just hang on the line. Go ahead. Just give it to him over uh, the other line. Just blow it up on the air. Yeah, I'll give you mine. It's real easy. It's 817-919-6053. If you missed that the first time, That's a real one. you Dude, won't you get it again. Dude, you just put that over the air. I'm not worried about it. Nobody's fast enough to write that crap down. <laughs> if you've got large mammary glands, Vinny wants you to call right now. No. First 100 callers will receive a, receive a free gift. I'm not looking for mammary glands. Hey, Bass, we'll see you Monday, all right, bro? Okay, guys. I'll see you. All right, bye-bye. Love -bye. you, Bass. Oh, man, there he goes. Well, there he goes. Right, that was some fun stuff. That I think it's one. time to plug our sponsor. Hey, Kuya. Yeah, Kuya. you guys are, you guys are loving that. Not to be confused with Kakua <laughs> or Kalka or however you say it. Zilla. All right, you know what? Get you a pull -up. I know there's a lot of people that want to talk to you guys and, and find out everything about Damage Plan and yeah. find out, you know, the status of Pantera. We have tons of Pantera fans, so we can talk about that a little bit. And you guys just came from mastering the Damage Plan record. What is that? 516. What are your kids? Is that? Already. Oh. They, See that? They didn't oh. touch it. Already. That's his cell phone. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> It was a listener. They wow. got his number. It's actually somebody from up here. Kiss yeah. <laughs> of course, it's somebody listening. You give me a number. I'm joking. Out. I didn't let's, think let's put him on the line. Down. His name is Howie Weinberg. And <laughs> 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 I would listen to you call. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some great guy. Uh, ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, listen, we're, we're going to find out everything about the new band. I'm sure people want to call in and talk to you guys. And actually, we can play for the yeah. first time a little bit of music from Damage Plan, right? This is the first time. Oh, we're going to have uh, Mike yeah. DePepa, the label rep from them. Our wonderful label, Electra Records. Uh, he's not going to give you the full mail deal, but he's going to give you enough of it to get a dose of what it's all about. All right, well, we're going to do that, but if we can, if it's cool, I know there's a Pantera Best Of album out, too, that I've been giving copies away, so I'd like to fire something up from that, get Let's everybody warmed up. Let's do it. What do you want to hear? Which song? Pick let, me, let me have a look at it. Play one of the obscurities, at least. Yeah. I find that most artists don't know what's on their best of uh, records. I tell you, I tell you what. <laughs> Me and Vinny, the two dudes that put this together. If thing we're going to blast something right now, I'm in the Black Sabbath mood. Why don't we hit Hole in the Sky, number 16, right. which slams down. Huge Sabbath fans, lucky enough to get to tour with them several times. I'll buy it. Let's have it. We're back with more with these guys in the studio. Your phone calls, too. 888 
you go. One of the great covers that you'll find on the Pantera Best of album, a great version of Sabbath's Hole in the Sky. And uh, Vinny and Dime from Pantera are here, as well as Pat. And what are you guys, ba bass master? What's he calling you? Bob Zilla. Bob Zilla. The new bassist, the new, the new band Damage Plan. We're going to get into talking to them and find out everything going on. We'll let you talk to them as well, but we got to take a commercial break. We'll come back and we'll continue. Uh, as we go to the break right now, one more time, our Halloween party a week from tonight, live broadcast with Skid Row. And if you'd like to come down, give us a call right now. Ten winners. Again, 888-872-1043. Uh, give the guys some time on the phone to get all your information, and you'll join us a week from tonight at the Hard Rock, our free listener party, Halloween party, with Skid Row performing live. You don't want to miss that. We'll be back with more in just a second. Three years ago, you bought your dream car. Today, it's your worst nightmare. You owe more than it's worth. With Eddie Trunk. Hey, we're back here. Hold on. Uh, Edward, what's going on back there? Halloween. Let me tell you guys a little bit about what was going on during the break here. You had a... Uh, if you're calling for the Halloween tickets for Skid Row, uh, Vinny was kind of Vinny Paul was kind of screening you guys out a little bit. Vince was, was on the phone tonight. <laughs> and look, I, there's more lines lit up than there was before the fire. Oh, this, things are going off the hook. <laughs> so, and then and now and Dime wants his own Kuya endorsement because he's loving the Kuya rum. He's looking for a Kuya Not endorsement for Damage Plan. Yeah, damage Plan. Damage Plan. So, so everybody it's, wants some. So now we're going to talk a little bit about what's going on with you guys because this is your new band, of course. But before, well, first of all, tell 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 us how this all came together because there was actually another name for this band, right? You guys were under was it Newfound Power? Was that the name of the band before this? That was just a working title, you know. Okay, that's but, after we figured out that uh, we had to carry on and get on and uh, that. You know, there was no future for Pantera because, you know, we couldn't get a call back from anybody, you know. Well, Dime, you know, before we get to that, and of course we want to talk about your new band, but, you know, for my money and a lot of people in the audience, Pantera was, was, was I think, the best metal band in the 90s by far. And, and, and I think that a lot of people still really don't know what the hell happened. So is, what, what can you tell everybody about what went down and how it led to Damage Plan? Well, let me straighten something out first and foremost. You know... We planned on doing Pantera again. Till the Damn. day we couldn't do it. You know, I mean, uh, that was that was the set down right out of the shoot, you know. And uh, that's how it was going to be. And I thought everything was casual and it was moving on. And we could start to see it slide a little bit. We tried to keep everybody in line. And uh, next thing we knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we finished the last tour and it was like. No phone calls, couldn't get in touch with anybody. Hey, can we get an answer? This project, that project, blah, blah, blah. This, this, this in the press. Uh, talk this, talk that. It's like, hey, these guys used to bear a bra <laughs> record. You, you guys know. are killing me here. Because I, 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 I know. There's base, not going to be a radio station to play your record if you keep uh, this uh, going. Uh, ba no, basically, trying. the bottom line is we couldn't get an answer from anything. So after about a year of this, we both looked at each other after Super Bowl Sunday when New England creamed the Rams accidentally in the Super Bowl. We were at my house, and he goes, you know what? I've been thinking about this, man. This thing called Newfound Power keeps coming to my mind. Let's start a new band. Let's just start a new band. And yeah. this was Dime. Dime, you had this idea. You just, yeah. you just guys yeah. got tired yeah. of waiting around to figure out what was going on. Really. Not, not waiting around, man. It was beyond that, man. It was, uh, you know, we put in several phone calls, try to have meetings, try to do everything in the world. And, dude, you know, all I got to say about it, if that was the preset deal or if people were done with that, at least they could have did is be... You know, uh, at least they could have done is had the common courtesy to say, hey, guys, we had a lot of great years together. Y'all take care. We're going to smoke on and do our thing. Y'all smoke on. You know, we see you at a bar or whatever. We'll do a double with you. And friends will always be friends and smoke on and whatnot. It just didn't work that way, man. It was just like, y'all just hang there on the couch and just die while we just, just keep doing more things, more things, more things, more things. And then the obvious choice was, you know, <laughs> You know, I mean, it's, super it's, armed dope ritual. I mean, that was the obvious choice. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really. Uh, and, and the really, obvious choice. The obvious
obvious choice. He finally decided one band was so important to That's him. That's right, since he's multi talented All you got to do is read his interviews. I didn't put any words in his mouth. He put them in his own. And that was his obvious choice. But anyway, so this, anyway, that's his obvious choice. And, and Rex, you know, he was along with him for down until down hit the wall, and that was done. And then, you know, he's on with super. Anyway, so <laughs> you know, super so look, 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 look. arm dope ritual. <laughs> Get off it, man. <laughs> Anyways, no, so, <laughs> so, like, Eddie can't even hardly take it. No, but look, 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 look. Hey, listen, I want to say one thing. Through the torment that we've been through that we've heard from friends around the world, that we've seen on the Internet, everybody that we've known everywhere, everybody going, God, dog, Dom. See, I covered it that time. You did a good job, Dom. Dom. Thank you. Dom, Vinny, <laughs> man, dude, we just saw your boy in town. He can't even stand up. He ain't even got no eyelids. What's what he happened doing? to Phil, you know, dude? You know, and dude, they're calling me, asking me about it, and, like, dude, it's, it, I'm like, okay, then that's when I figured it was time. You know, for him to go trip off into his land and do his deal and bless his soul. He was a great, he, he was awesome when he was back in the day and Pantera was killer back then. That ain't happening right now. So, look, I'm still the same cat. Vinny's still the same cat. And we're smoking on. It's time to cut the line, draw that. Uh, uh, I didn't do it again. Good man. I almost. Uh, you, you're doing a good job. You're getting better. But, dude, uh, you know, I mean, this is one of them deals you just got to do and you got to get on with. That or I could be still sitting on the couch going, uh, baby, can you cook me a chicken fried steak? It ain't going to pop right now. <laughs> you know, instead of blowing up and popping and just saying, okay, I give up. You know, I meant to do this forever. So anyway, our apologies that we don't deserve to have to give to everybody. Go out to all the Pantera fans because I would never, ever start an army of people that, you know, show them the way, bring we'll them from for nothing, you, man. that would just go out and kill for you and then up and leave you. That's wrong. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, man. That is just not right. I, however you slice it is not right. So what we did is uh, we picked us kick it. Can we say kick ass on the You can say kick ass, but the S word you can't say. How we who some, calls it? We wrote what some kick fart? ass music. <laughs> so we found a kick ass lead singer, a kick ass bass player, and we got a new band. And it's called Damage Plan, man. So, so um, how did you come? How did you come into playing with these guys? How did you um, find your 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 two companions in the band here? Tell us how this came together. Like when you did you did had you known them and did you guys just decide to was this a logical move for you? Did you audition people? How did this work? It was gonna turn into one of them things. We actually had a, a couple cats coming in and give it a spin, but you know, uh I kind of created a I don't know, we I didn't create it. It was just a natural thing that me and Pat kind of found within each other on the road. Uh, Pat from Halford, and every time I'd come through, he would just always be that cat right there going, Don, you ready? And we'd end up on the bus all night drinking, listen to music, and just, you know, we share the same loves. And uh, he's got an old lady that lives in Arlington, Texas, just by fate. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of things that are trippy that just are perfectly fell into place that worked out that way. And um, anyway, so he'd come down, come down, come down, and uh, he heard the songs a couple times, and he goes, man... Let me let me take a pull off of it. And anyway, we sent him back with one track, and uh, uh, Vinny got the first tug off of it. I went by Don and said, "You get the fat axe." He goes, "Yeah, here it is." He was kind of hung over one night and got it. And I got my car, I popped it in. It was crawl. I had goosebumps all over me. I went, you know, air. <laughs> it was it was the one that says F U C K, but I just went <laughs> right. And, and I called Don. I said, D "Did you did you listen to the CD?" Yet? And he's like. Nah, man, I'm just chilling on the couch. I said, that's our boy right there, yeah. Pat Lockman. Wait till you hear it. And he put it on. He called me back five minutes later, and he goes, hmm, let's see if he can do anything else. So he called him and brought him down, and, and he started, and that's where it all started, man. It started right there. And once once, once we gave him the green light, then that's when he showed his true colors all the f way. Thank you, man. Thank <laughs> you. I appreciate that. So I can't even get a sentence <laughs> off because I keep having to, uh. But uh, that's when he showed the true colors and uh, went home and really put his head to it. And uh, he's, you know, he's an amazing songwriter, amazing singer. And uh, we didn't want to do the same thing over and over again. We didn't want a re replacement uh, for Phil and whatnot. And that's the yeah, truth. Yeah, I was going to say that you, because that's the thing that could be a real easy out that a lot of bands would have done is said, well, you know, if there's a lot of value in names, but, you know, people go to war legal wars like crazy for ownership of names because the name means so much 
So you felt it was better to just do a whole new project than to actually take Pantera out with another lineup. That's Absolutely. right, because, I mean, you know, we had a great legacy with Pantera. Once again, I take nothing from it, neither does my brother. We had the most awesome time. It just turned into something that is just, is not, could never be what it really should be, you know. And so when something like that's done, you don't just try to resurrect it and just keep it on moving. You know, it was time to it was time to show some balls, step up to the mic, and say, "Hey, man, we can do this again." Right. I got the goods. Vinny's oh. Tom, in the highway. In the highway. Anyway, and we, where'd you find where'd you find our man uh, Bob Zilla over here? Bob Zilla. <laughs> He's Bob, a monster. Bob Zilla's, uh, you know, the greatest bass player in Dallas, Texas. We've seen him play in a couple of local bands and thrown down every night. We always respected his ability. And uh, his showmanship and everything that he had to offer. And, you know, the main thing that we dug about Bob was that, you know, that he's a true bass player. You know, he's not a half, I want to play guitar and sing, or I want to be a half this or that. And I can play bass on the side if you need one. You know, you want your nap, Dan? <laughs> no, you know, it was, it was none of that kind of stuff, you know. I mean, he is, he's the kind of cat that's been sitting around. For a long time, he can play your Steve Harris. He can play your, you name it, man. He can throw some chili pepper. He can throw some whatever, Iron man. He's does a, the Iron Maiden justice, man. Very, yeah. very sick bass player that, that sits around, even when he didn't have a gig, and works his chops out. And uh, anyway, we brought him down, and the first time he came down, it was just, um, you know, we had cats that we wanted to try out along with him and figure out, if, you know, where we need to go. And Bob came down, and once again, Good brother of ours from years of hanging out in the clubs, drinking. So we already had a bond. And, you and he's know. the ink guy. And, and, hey, don't forget the fact that he did bring his tattoo gun. We oh, are, we are here in benefit New York. there, huh? That's, so that's everybody gets free ink, but that didn't get him the gig at all, you know. <laughs> Basically, he came in and he turned on his bass and he started blowing out the tunes. And Vinny, Vinny, Vinny threw the sticks and he said, man, that sounds like Godzilla. And uh, the next thing he said, he goes, that's Bob Zilla on bass. And Bob, Bob Zilla on bass. So, so uh, he was hired at that moment. All right, well, you know what we want to do right now? Uh, let's play some music from Damage Plan. Now, you guys, this is literally hot off the presses because you just mastered this like today, right? Hot Nobody's heard press. this, man. All right, well, this is cool. Then um, we, the track you picked here is called Breathing New Life to Get Us Started. And I'm told... Now, Mike from Electrostander right here, he's going to pull my arm as soon as I have to kill the song because he doesn't want us to play the whole he's thing. He's going to pull your That's finger. Cool. <laughs> he's going he's to push a buzzer. But uh, we're going to play as much of it as we can and give you this exclusive from Damage Plan. When is this in stores? February 10th. So looks this like, is looks like February 10th. February 10th. Originally January 27th, but February 10th. All right, so this is way out front, so you're getting a sneak peek you're here. getting a dose of it on the Get Eddie home. Trunk show. And you guys want to talk. I'm sure the audience has a ton of questions for you, both about Damage Plant, Pantera, whatever. We'll get some calls on uh, right after we play some music. Our toll-free line, 888 If you're listening on HMH, call in on 212-869-1043. And right after we play this, we'll get some calls on for the guys. Anything you want to talk about is cool. And uh, anything you want to say about this before we hit it? Uh, Turn your stereo track? up to a damaging wow. level. Eddie, <laughs> push play. Do the play. Damage is. is on the way. Damage plan exclusive.
I'm told that's all we can play. <laughs> How much more do you need? You got to exactly. Oh, I almost had to, hey, I almost had to edit myself out there, Dime. You can't handle the heaviness. <laughs> Hey, you know what? They, Mike said after the lead. I was just happy to hear somebody bringing new music that had a lead in it, for yeah, God's sake. Yeah, Bring the lead back. It, it never left. Oh, man, that it sounds awesome. Left. And who that? Pat, man. Dude, listen, serious. I'm, Vocals. I'm, I'm, hang on a second. I'm Loch Ness Monster in the house. There I'm not is. talking about me now. I'm talking about Dime, dude. Nobody wanted to step up to the plate and bring leads because they couldn't. Like the man right here to my left, dime bag. What are you gonna say about that? <laughs> I just say it's it's a part of what I do. You know, I'm capable of doing it, and I'm proud of doing it. And I know a lot of people are fans of guitar out there, and I ain't Thank ever gonna God. change. Thank God. Good to hear, man. Yeah. I just read an interview with the guitar player. I forget who it was. Damn, was me, Zach Wild, the greatest guitar player. No, well, Zach's a good bud, but it, the guy who the guy who did the interview said the two best guitarists in rock right now. Were Diamond Zach and I forget who it was. It was just in one of the guitar magazines. I, th I think that was on the cover of a guitar magazine. Zelensky, as a fact. Baby. Hey, let's play a little Reborn. Is that track six? Wait, wait, wait. Hey, what happened? What happened to all the ch all the kids and chicks that were calling in? <laughs> the phones ringing. Hey, up I'm willing to answer anybody's question. Now, there's been a lot of people. I want to say one thing, man. We've been watching the internet, and watching people just do what they got to do, and saying the true feelings from their guts. And it's uh it's a pretty sick deal because they never heard from Dime Bag and Benny Paul in damn near two years. Right. And uh, we we just man we sit there and watch the beating. We took it like a man. We didn't say nothing back. We didn't come back and throw no swords, daggers, or even a cheap bullet, man. You know. And uh, so well, you letting your music speak. That's, you know, that's what you're doing. That's the way we want right. to do it. You know, we want to do it on the high road. As Sonic, my boy Paul says, Sonic hand grenade. Sonic ham grenade. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know so, what? There are some people that want to, you know, we'll, we'll anybody, pop some calls on real quick for you, and then we'll play another track. That's fine. Anybody uh, wants to know anything, I'd be love, more than happy to tell you the truth. All right. Our toll-free line only. is 888 872 Come on, America. Or what you want? 1043 if you're listening on HMH. We're going to go ahead and plug this uh, Kuya. Kuya. we're drinking here. Kuya. Our Kuya. Our Kuya. Thanks, Daddy Trump. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so uh, we got uh, Vinny, oh, Dime, Pat, and Bob Zilla here Bob in the studio. Zilla. Damage plan, and we can talk about Zilla. Pantera. Zilla. Anything you want to talk Zilla. about. Zilla. Let's start with uh, Bridget, who wants to get in here. She's our first caller. Hey, Bridget, you're on the air live. Hey, Eddie, how you Bridget, doing? We're great. I'm good, good. Huge fan. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to say a couple of things to uh, to the guys there. I mean, the, that, that, that whole little piece that we got was just that problem too there are you uh, moist but i wanted to say to dime bag especially the riffs were just amazing yeah. you can honestly tell that you are one of the best you're definitely one of the best uh, and of course Vinny paul on drums is always an ass kicking thing to hear thank you but thank uh, you, so you know much. i really wish you guys the very best and it did suck the way that phil did everything with pantera i'm one of the biggest pantera fans in the world but you know what i really wish you guys the best i think you're going to be magnificent and i can't wait to see you in new york well, listen, darling, I appreciate that. That's that's exactly what we want to hear back from everybody. And all we want to do is carry on that hell-raising, ass-kicking tradition that we've always done. And uh, when we come through, get your ass on out here and let's get it on. Let's throw it down. And uh, we'll see you backstage for a couple triples and no telling what else. Bring all your friends and let's throw down. All right, let's get Scott on the air. Scott's up next. Uh, Scott, what's up? You're live on the air. Yeah, just let me turn my radio down a little bit. All right, please do. Brilliant. All right. Um, what I want to know is, are the guys going to uh, have any plans of uh, reissuing any of the uh, free Cowboys from Hell uh, CDs at all? Like through the uh, like through their website or anything? Well, dude, and, dude, you almost way, remind me of the, great. You remind me of them cats that come up and go, hey, man, do you remember Susie from eight years ago? Hey, the chick, she's got two rotted out fangs now and eight kids that are, you know what I mean? I mean, who cares to look in the damn past? You know what I mean? Look, the past is the past. We got a beautiful past. I'd like to keep it that way. 
And uh, I want you to pay attention there's to what not, we're doing. There's not here too in the many future. stretch marks on that path, but there's a few. But if you really want it, just go to allmusic.com, and I'm sure you can buy it from that German company that's making tons of money off of that. You're talking about the the real early records, the power metal, all that stuff. Early, yeah. early, early incarnation right. of this. I have no problem with them. I'm still proud of everything I've ever done. Spandex, eyeliner, everything from 1980. That shows that I've been around when that generation was cool to the big hair days to shaving your wig, shaving, yeah, I mean, you name it, man. It, it, it obviously doesn't matter if you were a dude like me that's been through it all. You finally figure out that it's what's in the heart. Hey, Jay, you're on the air live. What's going on, Jay? Listen, I got to talk to John Big, man. You are. Go hey, ahead. I'm going to drink some plank tooth, baby. Ah! Kuya tooth. Ah! Kuya, kuya. All right. Ready, one, two, three, get it out! The question is, this is unbelievable to me. I am a die-hard Pantera fan. Love you all. You're the best in everything you guys do, period. You're Guitar from Jersey, aren't you? Plumbing, vocalist, everything. Hey, Jay, I Jay, Jay, Jay where you are know you? What? I've seen them in concert a few times out oh. Sorry. <laughs> Hey, Jay, I love Jay, 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 but Jay, we can feel you. He was worse than me, man. He was, Jay we can was feel a little you. out of control. Jay, Jay we can feel you, and really you know what? Excited, bro, but we got out. nothing to do with that egomaniac. You don't hear me talking We got like a band that. that's going to blow that crap away, and I hope you listen to us and get a real dose of what Damage Plan is all about. All right, we got Pete who's calling from Queens. Hey, Pete, you're up next. What's up, man? Hey, good. How you doing, guys? Pete from downstairs. Yeah. 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 yeah! What's up, Pete? I just heard the new stuff and it was like, whoa, out of the world. Uh, I want to ask, what in the future, what are you guys going to progress into? Uh, can you give us, can you give us like, you know, a clue? Let, let me just tell you this, man. The beauty of Damage Plan is, is that we can do everything that we ever did in the past. Me and Vinnie Paul started Pantera before Rex Brown and Phil Anselmo were even a part of it. And we're going to continue the legacy on in the same damaging fashion. We're going to make harder music, stronger music, more meaningful music. Not while not making music while we're asleep, eyes are shut. We're making our music full-blown, heart-blooded, and wide-eyed and bushy-tailed, along with... The ways we're going to stretch this thing out and bring the new members in that can kick some serious... I'm watching out for that. You're good. You're good. You're right. I ain't doing it yet. You Bring can it. say kick ass. Dude, we got new elements in the band, and I'm real proud and, and thrilled. Uh, both the two cats that we got, Pat and Bobzilla, are amazing cats, and they're on the same page. None of the four members in this band are on any kind of dope, any kind of jack-off plan. We're on the damage plan. We do drink, we do raise hell, and we can't wait to see you. We will hang out and party with you, sign autographs. We'll do everything everybody always wanted that you could never get before with Pantera. And we're going to take this thing to the next level, and that is our plan. Damage and plan. Yeah. Let me ask you a quick question because just something that came to my mind. With the amount of Pantera fans, and obviously those are going to be the people that are going to first embrace this and get involved in it. When you guys play live, will you do any Pantera songs? I'll at tell this, you this. At this point, I feel like it's, uh, no, we're playing our songs, man. That's where we're at right now. We're doing our thing. You never know. You might have a special surprise at the end of the evening. But if the job has to be done, you ain't ever heard it done that well because we... I can guarantee you it's, it can happen, man. <laughs> I heard Pat take hey, care hey, of some fucking... Hey, at rehearsal, you know, we did Audio Slave, we did Iron Maiden, Priest, Pantera. We did all that cool stuff when we are jamming, so... And hey, man, you know, what's wrong with jamming some good old rock and roll, so... That's right. Yeah, we got a call from Texas here. Steve, Steve wants from to Texas. talk to Vinny. What's up, Steve? Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, man. Hey, Steve. Hey, I'm down here. It's hot as hell. Well, it's nice and cold. It actually was snowing during the middle of the day. Yeah, in New York, it's about 30 degrees right now. Yeah, it melted real quick. But, hey, what part of Texas are you from? Uh, well, uh, I'm from New Jersey. I'm in Coppers Cove. My buddy talked to you a little Coppers while ago. Coppers Cove, man, that's like you want your El Pass. You need your nails done. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's, your question, Steve? What's, what's your question, Steve? Uh, actually, I was wondering, I got your address because my buddy got your address, but I was wondering if I could get your phone number. And we yeah, here it goes, 817 919 <laughs> 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 
changes his cell phone like Wait tomorrow. Hey, hey. <laughs> I, hey, you ready? hey, hold on. The Damage Plan Hotline, which is 817. You got your pen, dude? Get it real quick. 817-274-5744. Let me repeat that for you. 817-274-5744.